Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 11 of Darwell20's Dun 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 Sky Factory 4 Let's Play series, where I'm having a good old time uh, playing with stuff and things. So last episode we got very close to being able to hooray, get what we want to get, uh, which is effectively just a bunch of good stuff. Uh, so that should be cool, actually. I'm this up already. Cool. All right, there we go. Four of these bad boys and some lead. So we're trying to automate the trees as best we can. And I think by the end of this episode, we should be really good in that position. There's a couple things we won't be able to do just yet, but we should be really close to being good to automate trees. Um, and and, and my, my plan is is to set up all the filters on all these bad boys that we need, right? Um, and we're going to need to do very specific filters, right? Very specific filters indeed. But don't worry, it won't be too crazy. I think we've got a pretty good plan in my brain. I'm just going to hope it works the way I think it will. Hello, pig. I appreciate you being my pet and living in my house for free. <sighs> He's nice. He just likes to hang out and stare at me, which is a little bit creepy. You know, just saying. It's a little bit creepy, pig. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for... He's still looking at me, though. Look at him. He's still... Even though he's looking inside inside the marble, he looks like he's still looking at me. All right. So uh, let's get to work, shall we? I'm going to make a few more item ducks because clearly we're going to need them. And theoretically, this should get us going now. So let's cook. Um, so do, 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 do. More item ducks. We need more tin. Exactly enough tin. Booyah. Gonna need more tin soon. Um, so we're gonna throw a vacuum item duct here. There it is. Um, to, but we don't want you to be connected, right? What we want is these guys with whitelisted filters, right? So we're just gonna do this. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna do everybody else except you. And that'll prevent any accidentals, right? So whitelist 32. That's what I'm gonna put on here. 32, 32, 32, 32. Make sure these are all whitelist, by the way. Thirty-two. Whitelist. 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 Is there another pig in there, or is that the same pig? Piggy, please. How'd you get in there? I don't even want to know. All right. So whitelist thirty-two. 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 Whitelist 32, right? So now what should happen is any items uh, that are appropriate to this thing are going to come this way. So I'd love, love, love to servo this dude. So let's do that. Uh, maybe, yes. Let's. Can I whip up a quick servo? I should be able to, right? Do I even do I need one? I may have one laying around. But I should be able to get one. Yeah, I do. I have a filter. I have a filter laying around. I don't think I have a servo. But I should be able to you know, whip one up real quick. Um, yeah, let's get you guys. Because the servos, if I want an Electrum, yeah, should be cool. Let's do it. We'll make an Electrum servo. Why not? Doop and doop. That should be cool. And you're still doing your thing, right? Wow, look at all the RF we've got. That is cool. I like having RF. I like it. I like it. Coal beans. All right, so let's get this guy, right? And we're gonna test this out on the existing backlog of junk that we've got, right? So we're gonna want clay acorns and clay resin, right? And I kind of want to be prepared in a rather intelligible way with this. So let's try our best to not be too derpy, right? Netherrack 
and netherrack. Right? Dirt and dirt. And sand and sand. Does that seem fair? And we also have gravel and gravel. So let's um, put away this bone meal that we've got in here, blocking my path. We've got so much junk in our inventory. We'll deal with inventory management probably next. That'll probably be one of our next tasks, right? Uh, so gravel and gravel, right? So remember, it's three per, right? So one, two, three. One, two. Okay, so now what we should start seeing is as these things grow, the appropriate resources will go into the appropriate slots, up to 32, right? And as soon as an item goes in there, the, the power thing goes in, right? So that's cool. All right, nice. So all the resources are going to start filtering. Beautiful. And that's cool. And theoretically, nothing should be going in here at this point except flint and nether quartz. Right? That's the only things that should be allowed in here at this point. So, like, let's... Let this thing empty. And what he should do is clear out the backlog of everything that's in here. So it's going to allow 32 of each item to go into these inventory slots, right? And then they will compress and do their thing. See, it's putting 32 exactly, and no more. That's perfect. Look, and it's making netherrack and clay. Hooray! It's doing the thing. Perfect! That's exactly what I want to see happening. That is awesome. That is awesome. All right. So I want to clear out this chest, right, of all this stuff that we've got, which should take a few minutes, but not too long. And then what I want to do is start moving over the rest of the trees, right and get them all populated and just get everything taken care of now we should have lots of saplings and leaves in these chests over here that i can use to create my whitelisted filters on this guy right um so we'll collect all the wood i also need to make that void upgrade which we'll get to at some point right the void upgrades for those things um but yeah this this looks like it's working just just super look at it look at it work right and what's going to happen though is we're going to have more acorns than resin because we know that that's a thing right we we produce more acorns than we produce resin like if you look at this you have a 50 percent chance to create an acorn and a 35 percent chance to create resin so we're gonna have to deal with the overflow of acorns i haven't figured out exactly how i want to do that yet um what it'll probably wind up being is another trash can, but we'll figure it out. All right, so exactly as I expected to happen, right? We've got excess acorns. So the last thing we're gonna wanna do there um, is have some kind of trash can. Now the question is, what I could do is just make this chest, instead of being a chest, be a trash can, right? But I'm gonna hold off on doing that before I decide if I wanna do that, right? Because basically what we would find up happening here is excess stuff including the little bit of nether quartz and flint that we're getting as extra drops occasionally could get voided. And then we don't have to worry about that. Um, and, and, and it's not like, you know, we're going to be hurting the quartz, right? So, I mean, we're going to have quartz. We can make flint, I assume, with the old three gravel equals a flint recipe, right? So that's 100% doable. So we'll see, right? But exactly what I expected, right? We're keeping 32 acorns and every bit of gravel or, re or resin that comes in produces the resource for us. And that's pretty cool. And we'll basically get two stacks of every resource eventually. That's what it's going to come down to. I'm liking it. So now let's move the rest of our stuff over, right? So what I'm going to do um, is just start moving some of these things, right? Okay. So these four can start going here. Okay. Um, didn't I say four? Was it only three? Oh, hold on. There's there's the thing. Yes, it's four. Okay. Let's get one more to make it an even five, because I have five in a row, right? Um, how about copper? It seems like a good time. Okay, so that goes there. Um oh. 
that, that. I really need to get a sword or something to put there. How about iron, gold, nickel, copper, lead, right? Now what we need, iron, gold, lead, nickel, copper, all right? And that's gonna go over here, right? So you're gonna get nickel, iron, gold, copper, and you're gonna be the first of the lead generation. Cool, boop, 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 right? And then you back here get iron, gold, nickel, copper, and then you can be the first of the leads. Cool, and that'll make sure that all those guys go in there. Now we might have gotten a few, uh, you know, saplings or leaves come through. It's not a big deal, right? Um, and now we need to get the acorns, right? So acorn and resin, gold, lead, nickel, and copper, okay? And these guys are gonna have to come over here somewhere, right? So we're gonna need um, nickel and nickel, nickel and nickel, okay? And then you're gonna get iron, gold, and lead. Iron, gold, and lead, perfect. And then you can get copper copper cool and temporarily we can just do this and set you to ignore it and that should pull out all the resins probably or you know some of the stuff we'll see yeah good job you're doing the thing perfect exactly what i'd want to see here working guys it's working the plan is working how cool is that how cool is that right all right cool um so now let's do that again one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I'd love it if my inventory was a little bit more organized. So that's what we're going to do real quick. I'm going to clean up all the junk I've got in here. I don't know why you exist in my inventory at the moment, but I'm getting rid of you guys. I'm getting rid of you and you and you and you and you and you. Uh, and in here... I can probably put these things in here. This is kind of where I've been putting miscellaneous items like that. Cool. All right, that should be good. All right, so now for the next set, right? So setting this up shouldn't be too bad. Good, you didn't try to connect there. I was all ready to have to break that connection. Cool. Beautiful. Loving it. Okay, um, and then we can come over here and get all the things that we need, right? So uh, we already did copper, right? Did I do five here? If I already did copper, what five did I get? Tin, quartz, silver, osmium, and redstone. All right, so tin, silver, where did you come from? Mm -hmm. Osmium. Which doesn't have, okay, it does have an osmium sapling. Okay. And I got these two. Okay, quartz. And redstone. Cool. So over here is gonna get the leaves. One, two, three, four. What leaf did I miss? Tin, silver, osmium, redstone. Did I miss quartz leaves? I might have. Quartz leaves, right? Redstone, osmium, quartz, tin, and silver. 
tin, silver, osmium, quartz, redstone, right? And then over here, we've got redstone, silver, tin, osmium, quartz, redstone, silver, tin, osmium, quartz, okay? Over here will be redstone and quartz. Now, to be fair, redstone doesn't need the resin and neither does the quartz, right? Quartz resin doesn't actually work. What we want is the quartz acorns and the redstone acorns only. It's kind of cool. I'm thinking if I want to do something a little different with you. No, I'm going to stick to the pattern that I've got just to make things clear, right? Um, so the redstone acorns and the quartz acorns can go in there, right? Oh, oh. Okay, no, we do want we do want the quartz resin. And that gets us blocks of quartz. Cool. Alright, that's good, that's good. Right? Um Redstone resin we don't need to worry about, right? That just makes redstone amber. Which I mean technically I could throw in here. What good is redstone amber? I can melt it into molten redstone. Right? Um and then molten redstone. Maybe, maybe, if I want that. I guess it's better than voiding it, right? We'll do that for now. Because you only make that. Um, and you only make that. So you're not gonna try and combine into something silly, right? So that should be fine. Shouldn't you be doing something though? Oh, you don't have a packager recipe. Then never mind. There's no packager recipe for redstone resin. So never mind. Okay. And then the last one can be silver and osmium, right? So, or silver, tin, and osmium. Silver, whoops, first you. Silver, silver, tin, tin, osmium, osmium. Cool. All right. And now let's come back over to you and clear out the stuff that happened while I was setting up my recipes and filters and whatnot, right? So that should clear everything out again. Beautiful, I'm loving it, okay? I'm loving it, I'm loving it. This is pretty cool. It's working, guys, 100% working. And theoretically, this chest can just be, you know, replaced with a trash can, and we should be good. I like it. It can either be a trash can or a chest. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Technically, if I make this a trash can, that means I don't need all these filters. Because it'll just void everything that's not an acorn or a resin, right? Between leaves, saplings, and all the extra junk. So technically, if I make this a trash can, this whole setup is no longer needed. But if I do want to keep some of the side effect items, maybe... I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Cool. I'm going to do the rest off camera and come back. All right, guys, we are back, and I'm just testing the last of the tree things. So interesting thing that I just discovered. Cottonwood does not have a packaging recipe. So there's no packager recipe for the cottonwood resin tree. So I'm thinking cottonwood maybe shouldn't even be over here at this point. Um, but we'll see, right? Where is cottonwood anyway? He's there. So I might move bone over there. Right, and then we'll do something with cottonwood. Where was cottonwood at this point? This was bone, this was cotton, right? So I'm gonna leave cottonwood over here because he clearly doesn't behave um, and do what he's supposed to do. Did you clear out everything the way you're supposed to? Yeah, you do seem to. Now, diamond, emerald, and lapis, like redstone, uh, you only need their acorns. So I put only their acorns inside this filter over here, as you can see. Diamond, emerald, and lapis. So they're making, you know, the block or item form of each thing. Um, so we're going to have to decide how this is going to flesh out. Uh, like, what do I do with the emerald resin, right? Like, I could make this. So you can melt into molten emerald. I don't know how much... So, hmm, 
So if I wanted to get the most emeralds, and probably the same for the most diamonds would be the case, right? Um, what we'd want to do is make the, the amber version of it and then melt it into the liquid and then form it into the diamond, right? So if we use just the acorns, we can package it into diamonds, but we probably will only get about half maybe even a third as much as we would if we combined everything the proper way using a melter and an ingot former, right? Um, but at least for now, we have something up and running, right? So I think our next step at this point is to leave this open and see what we start to accumulate. And what I assume we're gonna start to accumulate will just be lots of acorns um, and, and those specific resins that we know we're not using right now. Um, and that's probably what we're looking at getting, right? Um, so the same for lapis, I presume, right? Like we would melt that down, right? What if I just melted you? To be fair, actually, that's actually a good point. Can you just be melted down? You can be, and you will get me 74 millibuckets of emerald. So I could stick with what I'm doing and then just eventually melt down all the emerald resins using either uh, a tinker's melter or a nuclear craft melter. And that gets me 74 millibuckets, um, which I can then convert. So I, I don't know what the math comes out to on that, but my guess would be that we're actually pretty darn close to making it worthwhile to stick with what I'm doing and only melt the resins, not the ambers. So don't craft it into amber, craft it the way we are, keep the resins maybe in a drawer hint, hint, hint. um and that would be cool man imagine how good a drawer controller would be right now i'm just saying how great would a drawer controller be right now anyway or like one of those four you know slot drawers like the two by twos ah oh, it would be so nice to have it would be so nice me and Darko got to have a conversation. Darko, me and you, we got to talk, buddy. All right, so with this all up and running, and I think I can put you in here, to be honest. Um, I'm sure he did that on purpose. He knows He knows about the Dora's mod, right? If we look at this, we will see resources ac accumulating, right? Like, look at all that nickel amber. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Look at all the gold and iron and lead amber. Look, we just come over here and we get our stuff. How cool is that? Now, I'd love to get a retriever of some kind, right? Reinforced Retriever. Um, but that's going to need an Eye of Ender, which needs an Ender Pearl. Um, which if I got... We need to unlock the Project E stage. Which I think, if I'm not mistaken, that whole Project E stage is, is right here. So we, we probably can't do that. But boy, would that be awesome. Boy, would that be awesome. Is there any other sneaky tricks to getting... So there's the pigs. The pigs can make them. All right, let's come back in a few minutes while I think it through. Because I might need to look at that pigs mod, or maybe not. We could always do a mob farm, to be fair. All right, not not even a little bit of a bad haul here. Check this out, dudes. This is cool. Uh, I need to clean up some of what I consider a mess at the moment. But otherwise, this is all the smeltables, right? Did I miss something here? One of them might be. That's quartz. So that's not really a smeltable. Silver, iron, copper, nickel, gold, tin, cottonwood's not really a smeltable either, per se. But it's a crushable, right? It's a crushable, so that counts, right? But overall, not bad. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some speed and energy upgrades in these guys. Um, what would be involved in making that happen? Just so we could process these metals a little bit more quickly than we have been, because you know how fun that's been. Um, just some crushed osmium and enriched alloys to get speed. And I want to say the energy is gold usually, right? Yeah, crushed gold. So let's get osmium and gold cooking. We should have osmium in here. The other thing I wouldn't mind doing... Um... Oh, chickens? Chickens and pigs, animals spawning everywhere. Mass hysteria. But I'll take it. Uh, the other thing I'd like to do is kind of clean up some of the junk that's been laying around, per se. So I should be able to, in theory, right? Like, let's put all our resources that we have just right into there, right? Because that's a reasonable thing to do, right? Do, 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 do. These are all resources. Yes, niter. The only dust in there are niter and sulfur, right? We're probably going to want to smelt some stuff to make sure everything's good. Eat some carrot juice because I'm getting hungry. What's outside there? Oh, another one of those robot dudes. 
B2RP. <laughs> One of those robot dudes is outside. So theoretically, right, I put all this junk in here, minus the pulverized, but all this stuff should... Now the apple and oak saplings won't go nowhere, right? But if I do that and then throw this servo back on here with ignored mode, he should clean out all the junk. And this is kind of like a filtering chest for all the junk that we've already accumulated. Now what I wouldn't mind doing probably is getting like a legit pretty big chest over here, right? Um, I like the idea of it being like red. Does that sound cool? Um, and what if we made it like, what's a max size chest gonna cost? A stack of iron. All right, so maybe not that much, right? Um, but if we wanted like a nine by nine chest, cause that's what the iron likes. 18 iron, some oak fences, some clay, some chests, that should be doable. Let's try that out. Now that we're starting to get into the, I have, I have stuff phase of this mod pack, right? Um, that should be cool. And iron amber can go in there then. Nice. All right. I should do something with like this outputting resources somewhere, like maybe a chest of some kind, right? Um, but otherwise, boop. What's your beef, stranger? Why are you trying to dump stuff that you shouldn't be dumping? Oh, probably things were in the in the transit at the time. Yeah, but that should like void all the excess saplings and all the other stuff we don't necessarily need, right? Um, and we still have our Pokedex of saplings, right? Petrified saplings. Yeah, we probably don't really need these anymore. And we still have them in our Pokedex thingy, so that's cool, right? Um, and then the rest of the stuff will just clear out and get turned directly into resources. So I'm basically going to want to clear out all these chests that we have worth of stuff um, and get them over here. What I'll probably do, actually, a good way to do this. I have a really good idea. Um... Are you done? Are you done clearing out this chest worth of junk? You are. So come here, you. What I'm going to do is grab item conduits, and I'm going to clear out all those chests like this. You ready? Check this bad boy out. This is going to be cool. So I take this. Oh, come on. This was going to be awesome. The mod that lets me do this is in the pack, but I can't do that to these? Wah, wah, wah. That's a shame. So I'm going to have a dedicated chest for this instead. Um, this one can do it. That would have been so cool, let me tell you. I was just going to, like, pick up and move. Right? But now I have to do this. Let's see. Ugh. What I should do is just clear out my upper half of my inventory and pull everything into there. So like if I put you guys down here. I'm gonna put you in the tools kind of chest. And these two in my to-do list area. So then I can just do this and pop you into there. Okay, uh, and what I'm going to do is put this guy here so that I can do that. That'll be super cool, because I can just do this and get everything, right? And then, whoop, that. Perfect. Cool. And that'll be how we clear out this backlog worth of stuff, which shouldn't be too bad, realistically. And then in the meantime, I want to try out this chest thing. So we'll keep this thing up, right? But we need some more iron, which should be coming up next from this thing. Which, wow, does that take a long time to get around to. So we're going to need a lot of chests and a lot of clay and a lot of iron and a lot of fences. But otherwise, not too bad, right? So this guy is ready to roll. Just get a few more iron. How many total iron did we need from this? 18. Do we have any more iron? Oh, we got 10, so that's cool, right? Uh, and then we just need a bunch of wood, right? So we'll get this. And then we can get the fences. Cool. 
I hear that Android out there and I'm like, I want to be an Android. And apparently I can be. I think, I think when you become an Android, and I'm not super sure about this, uh, but I think when you become an Android, what do I do with my clay? Uh, like you have to charge up your batteries instead of eat food, which sounds cool. And I want to do it. I'm telling you, that pack has been in a lot of things, right? So nine columns, nine rows, right? Um, if I made it 12, it would be 24 iron. We could pull that off. So that would be, that would be pretty good. Because what I'd like to have build. Hey, cool. That's neat. I like that. What I'd like to have... See, that's pretty good. 9 by 12. Interesting. Oh, you know what's starting to happen? You know what's starting to happen? We are overflowing these dudes. They are full. They, they are full. We're going to have to deal with that. Um, we're going to have to deal with that being full. Shouldn't be a problem to deal with, but we do still nonetheless need to deal with it. Um, so let's go fix that. Uh, those void upgrade doohickeys, right? Um, from that barrels mod, we're going to need void overflow, right? And that's going to be a fancy item frame. Oh, that seems easy enough. So I need two of them. Okay. So in total, I need six, seven, 14 obsidian. Man, you hear those robot sounds? I want those sounds. Make an obsidian be right. Well, you know what I could do theoretically? Got an idea. Hey, how did you happen? Spitballing ideas here, don't mind me. Give me all that stuff. I thought that would be a little bit faster. Eh, it's not so great. Thought it would be a little bit better, but it's not. It's a little bit better, I guess. Okay, not terrible. All right, so void overflow just needs a couple chests. There we go. You can have that thing back. You can do that. And for now, you guys just go in there. Though this should really just be voided along with you and the crook. I'm probably done with the crook. All right, so by putting these installed here now, you're voiding overflows, which means that all this stuff can go away. There might be a few more pieces of wood that trickle their way in here because they were already on the route, but the rest of the wood will go and get voided. Sweet. I like it. All right, back to cleaning up uh, the messes. So that goes here. And we'll be back in a minute. All right, so I'm going to call this a pretty good wrapping up point for the episode, right? I'm just going to, you know, clear out all the junk, right? That's what I'm doing at this point. I'm just clearing out all the junk, right? So things are going into here that don't fit, right? So like these saplings and a few other things that I've cleared out over the time. Um, and overall, so this is going to be my overflow chest. I might wind up making a bigger one. It just looks funny. It looks funny. But at least it exists, right? At least it's a thing that exists. I'll figure out how I'm going to handle this stuff eventually. But for now, we've got a really good ore processing system going. Hey, it's Osmium made its way in there? Okay, cool. I mean, I definitely did. Ooh, Steel Blend? Cool. I don't know how that showed up. But I've, I'm just kind of like throwing stuff into this sorting chest because it's going to void the things it shouldn't keep and it's going to overflow the things it should, right? So that's cool. 
Um, how we're going to handle all this stuff, I'm not sure. If it's going to be drawers or if it's going to just be smelted, because there's a lot of overflow of acorns, that's for sure. Right, and we totally have to at some point clear out these inventories as well, because they're going to start back stuff in two at some point. We're going to have to figure out how to deal with that. Um, what I'll probably work towards next is a mob farm of some form. That's what I'm thinking. Right, mob farm sounds like a smart idea. I think it's probably at the point where that would be worth doing. Right, but for now we got to wrap up. So maybe next episode mob farm. We'll see. Uh, for now, Dollar Twenty signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time um, and have completed cleaning up this mess of stuff over here. Um, and then this is our fully functional, everything's working, tree processing facility. I like it. It's not bad considering my current text level. Is there a better way to do it? Maybe. I'm sure I'm sure a lot of comments are saying, Dyer, you derp, you should have done X. Um, part of me doing this mod pack is trying to, you know, not come up with like spoilers and whatnot so like i'm not going out and googling the best way to make this i'm like hey let's see what we can come up with right and and there's some mods i'm not familiar with for sure but we definitely want to get back to advancements soon um farming might be like one of the quickest believe it or not ways i mean we have to get all these animal crops but aside from that everything else looks pretty oh place snad to grow sugar cane i thought we looked for snad and didn't see it oh no it totally exists i don't know why i didn't see that that existed i thought i looked for it maybe i don't know I thought I looked. Maybe I didn't look. You know. Stuff and things. They happen at times. All right. Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Uh, for now, take it easy.